nothing prepared me for standing literally on the rim with a 200 meter drop in front of me and this beautiful turquoise blue sulfuric acid lake and these steaming fumaroles in front of it. I mean, it's, it's just the most extraordinary view ever. I suppose Poas is my favorite volcano in the world because it's the first volcano I ever saw. I've been making measurements there for over 25 years now. The work we've done here at the Open University is using gravity changes. So very, very small changes in the acceleration due to gravity at the top of the volcano are caused by subsurface mass changes. And over the years, we've seen increases and decreases on a sort of cycle basis. Now we're beginning to get to a situation where we can actually predict what's going to be happening in the future just because we've seen it there in the past. What seems to be happening now is we've got another gravity build-up, just like the one we saw in the 1980s. Now, it's a little bit early to be absolutely sure, but it does look as though the same sort of precursors are happening. And that could well mean that there'll be an environmental crisis very similar to the one that we saw in the early 1990s at POAS. That's why we need to go back and make some more measurements. We'll be taking our usual instrumentation, we'll take our gravity meters and our GPS and all these sorts of things, and we're going to try out something new as well this time. We're going to see whether there's some small genetic changes that happen in plants. We're hoping that we're going to be able to see small changes, very similar to the changes that have been seen as a result of traffic pollution. If we can see those as a result of volcano pollution, it could be a very cheap, efficient and environmentally friendly way of monitoring a volcano and certainly a lot easier than carting lots of gravity meters and other things up into the summit area of the volcano.